Hi guys. So I've had a couple of people ask how I trained Teddy to alert, which is the word I've used and the word I had on my YouTube video that I put up with her practicing her alerts, but I think it's really more of an interrupting um, obsessive compulsive behaviors, um, particularly destructive behaviors, but this process would work the same for whatever you needed them to alert to. Just make sure I'm in the camera. Um, so this would be my first ever tutorial video for anything, especially a training video, so let's hope that everything cooperates. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and show you guys how I did it, the process that I went through trying to teach her how to alert. I guess first we start with our supplies. First, you need the dog. That's pretty important. You need patience. A lot of patience. Patience is important. It's always important. Three treats. I prefer pepperoni because it's really quick and easy for dogs to swallow. And, you know, Teddy loves it. She'd do anything for a pepperoni. So that's something really important. You want a high value treat. You want something she's gonna really try to work for. That's important. I like to use a clicker when learning something new because they just seem to get it so much faster if you start with the clicker. Like you can get past the clicker after a day or two where you're just, you know, rewarding with treats or food or toys, whatever your dog's motivated with. But the clicker, can, it just, I don't know, it acknowledges that they did good much faster than you can, and they just get it. Um, well, first, it depends on what kind of alert you need them to do. Alright, there's a couple of different ways they can alert. You know, they can just nudge you, touch, touch, no. A little nose touch, a little nose bump, touch. Yes. Which I mean, I use that for like touch grounding. That way, you know, whenever my hand's out, she'll bump it. So when we're walking through the store, I routinely have a little nose bumping into my hand. I find that very helpful. Some people don't, but I mean, if that's the kind of alert nudge you need, like. Again, it depends on what you're alerting to. But, all right, the first part about teaching an alert is the behavior. You need to know what behavior you want. You know, do you want them to bark at you? Do you want them to nudge you? Do you want them to paw at you? You wanna decide the behavior you want first. And I personally like the pawing because I need something a little bit more aggressive so I pay attention to it. Um, so because I need a bit more of an aggressive alert, I choose to have her paw. And oh, thank you! I did say that word. Good girl. Yeah, I um, choose the more aggressive alert. You guys choose which one is you would rather do. Um, now the nose touches were pretty easy to teach personally. I. I had a little treat in this hand. Come here, come close. Good girl, thank you. Wait. And then what I did is I just basically high-fived her nose. Good girl. So, you would basically high-five her nose gently, of course. Just tap her nose till she knows that her nose should go in your hand. Nose, yes. I use touch, so touch, yes. Touch? Yes. Eventually she gets to the point where she's doing it on her own. And then you can just start taking the word out. Yes. Yes. Now you can really trip her up and make her walk out to it. So, I'm going to try to show you guys how to do the P-A-W word. Um, I 
think how it started was just, you know, for me, and for Teddy in particular, she was already a very kind of pawing dog, so it was really easy to get her to paw at me and, you know, reward that kind of behavior. But that might not be the case for you guys. So you can try just like patting your leg. Paw? Yes. Sometimes if you just pat your leg paw, yes, they get the idea and they get their feet up in there. But sometimes they don't quite understand what you're trying to do. So if you take a little piece of a treat, oh, no, I didn't ask for it. But don't let them just get rewarded for pawing at you when you didn't ask for it, because that's just rude. Anyway, get a little treat and put it inside of your hand, like this. Hope you guys can see that a little bit. And you're going to just put it on your, yeah, just drop it on your knee. Eventually, she's gonna get frustrated, she can't get at it, and she'll get her paw out. Yes! And you can reward her yes now. Beware, that does hurt the first couple times. So, you know, and just keep doing it. Yes, and the more she does it, you can start to put a word to it. Put a word to the behavior. So you can put your hand in and go paw, paw, yes. And she'll just paw. Alright, thank you. See, she gets a little bit aggressive. That's helpful to me, except when I'm doing a video and she does it multiple times and it starts to hurt. Yeah, it starts to hurt a little bit. It's alright, she's just doing what she was told. She doesn't understand that it starts to hurt after a while. Um, so once you get her to understand that's what the behavior is, you can start just doing the word. Paw. Yes. Paw. Yes. Then once she starts doing the paw reliably based off just the word, sometimes you can... You know, try to, if you need her to be more persistent, him or her, sorry, I use her because I'm talking, you know, looking at Teddy and that's the first pronoun I think of. But if you need her to be more persistent, you can say paw and wait for two or three paws because after the first one, they're going to be like, what? You know, why am I not getting my treat yet? So if you wait and, you know, if you wait and don't get the treat right away, they will just keep pawing. Yes, thank you. I'll just keep pawing, and you want that, you want that persistence. So let them paw two or three times before you reward and get their treat. So once you have a word to it, you need to think about, see this is the behavior you want. How they alert is the behavior. So you need to think about next, what you want them to alert to, what are they looking for? You know, are they alerting to like a low blood sugar, are they alerting to seizures, are they alerting to something, you know, a little bit more psychological, which is really not so much an alert as it is a response, but they call it an alert. Sit down. Thank you. They call it an alert. So, like, they would respond to, well, for, like, blood sugar, they're responding to saliva. It's a smell thing that's sent right and for seizures, I don't really know how they do that, so I'm not sure how to tell you how they do that. But for the kind of training that we do, it is based off of them responding to your, like if your breathing is fast, if you taught them to you know, respond to really fast breathing, that would be something you could teach. You could teach them to um, respond to nervous tics to like tapping your leg or what I do I scratch I actually have a nice little oh, thank you good girl good girl see they just get it after a minute they just get it thank you yeah you just want the food they just get it yeah they just get it after a while um if you have noticed, I lose my train of thought all the time. It's really hard for me to keep track of what I'm talking about, so forgive me. Um, you want to figure out what you want them to alert to. So, for me, how I'm going to teach you guys is I have her alert to like scratching and repetitive behaviors, nervous tics, those sort of things. So, what you can start doing we're going to start out with the pen. 
Okay. So how you start it, I've now lost my pen. Of course I've lost my pen. We can use our clicker, I guess, since we still have it in our hands. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys haven't lost that one too. <laughs> then we'd all be screwed. Anyway, just find anything. Anything you might fiddle with, a hairbrush, a pen. Um and you know exaggerate the behavior like if you shake things exaggerate it and be like paw paw yes paw paw yes yes eventually they just get the idea that this means to paw thank you and it's really kind of cool the first time it happens and you're like oh, they finally caught on it's really nice. So then you just keep doing it. You just keep working at it. And eventually, you get to the point where you can do it smaller. You know, be a little bit more subtle each time. Now for me, I'm a big nervous tick scratcher. I can't stop myself. So it's very, very difficult to stop. So that's what Teddy's to help for. Or that's one of the things Teddy helps with, sorry. Um, so again, I scratch, so I'll be really obvious. And if she's not looking, you go, Hey Teddy, I'm Jen. look, look, look. And then you just let her keep pawing and keep pawing. And you reward her and say, good girl. And you give her lots of treats. Go get it. You make sure she knows that that's what you want. And it's really good. You just keep doing it, and eventually you can get to really subtle where you're just, you know, looking at your ear. She's smelling the floor, so this is not the best example. Hey, so, sorry, I know this camera is really bad quality, but my phone wouldn't hold a recording. It kept going for a minute and half and stopping, and then I'd have to backtrack. So I'm going to work with what I have and edit it in, and, you know, work around what I got. Alright, so when you guys are, you know, learning your alerts, your responses, you know, you want to reward heavily while she's learning, he or she, while the dog is learning. You know, lots of love, lots of treats, lots of thank you, lots of butt rubs, you know, whatever your dog wants, lots of throwing balls, you know, reward your dog heavy, let them know that you really appreciate it, make this fun, make it something they want to do. What's really important is to make them want to help you. Because if they don't want to help you, they're not. Right? So, you want them to want to help you. Change your rewards up. Don't make them, you know, don't have them expect the same thing every time. Or they'll get mad when they alert while you're in class and you don't, you know, have pepperoni falling out of the sky, you know. And just keep working at it. Work at it in different places. Do it at home. Do it in your bedroom. Um, you know, while you're in the car on the way to school. I don't know. While you're um, doing dishes. While you're sitting and watching TV. You know, when you stop for, you know, stop. You stop in the store, and get her attention. You know. And just make it so that she is you know, able to do it everywhere. Eventually, she will do it everywhere. She'll just, it will just be second nature. So, yeah, I think that is my video on how to teach an alert. Found my pen. <laughs> my video on how to teach an alert. And hopefully this helped you guys. Hopefully I'm not too much of a bumbling idiot. Hopefully I can edit it, edit it, did it, it, so that it all works together well. And hopefully it helped you guys. If it helped, you know, like or comment, let me know.